Dear friends, welcome to Bond with Arctic Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain HUPC entrance examination phase 8 questions from atomic structure from the era of 2018 to 2020. These are year wise questions from the lesson atomic structure. The first question if a hydrogen atomic orbital has two radial nodes, and is non-zero at the origin, its principal and the angular momentum quantum members respectively are. Here, it has two radial nodes. Radial nodes is equal to two, and also non-zero at the origin. The wave function for s orbitals, the wave function is non-zero at origin. But if you take a p orbital or d orbital or f orbital at origin, it say the function is zero. So here l should be zero. Since it's a s orbital, l should be zero. And uh, there are two radian nodes. You know the formula of radian nodes, l minus l minus one should be equal to two. Here l is zero, so n minus zero minus one is equal to two n is equal to 3. So the answer is n value is 3 and uh, l value that is angular momentum is 0. The 10 symbol for the ground state of uh, phosphorus is here for the uh, ground state the 10 symbol should have maximum s value and also maximum L value and also it should have maximum J value if it is uh, more than half it. More than half it. And uh, minimum J value, minimum J value if it is uh, less than half it. The term symbol is represented as L. Here you have a spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 and this one is the j. Let's check uh, phosphorus. The outermost electronic configuration is uh, this one. This one has uh, three electrons in p orbital. This is the p3 electronic configuration. This one is the 3p3. So you have three electrons. This one has a minus 1 L value, ML value, this one is 0, and this one is plus 1. So here, the total spin is equal to S is equal to, this one is plus off, this one is plus off, this one also plus off, so it's 3 by 2. The total L value is equal to minus 1 plus 0 plus 1, so it's a 0. Here, J value ranges from L minus S to L plus S. Since it is off field, the L value is 0. L value is 0. So the J value will be equal to only S. So it will be equal to 3 by 2. So the term symbol will be 2S plus 1. Here 2S plus 1 is equal to 2 into 3 by 2 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, this one is 4. Here, L is equal to 0. So, when L is equal to 0, the L can be represented as S. When N, L is equal to 0, S. L is equal to 1. P, L is equal to 2, D. And L is equal to 3, F. So, S. And uh, here, the J value. Here, uh, since it is R field, you have only one J value. That is 3 by 2. So this is the term symbol for ground state of phosphorus. The ionization energy of the hydrogen atom is 13.6 electron volt when the electron is in the 1s orbital. The ionization energy for the electron in the 2p orbital is. Here the energy En is equal to minus z square by n square 
and good acting point six electron volt. And also, ionization energy of uh, nth state is uh, negative of energy of nth state minus Er. Here, 1s orbital, ionization energy of uh, electron which is present in the 1s orbital is given. It is 13.6. Uh, so, ionization energy of uh, 1s orbital is uh, plus 13.6. What about ionization energy of uh, 2p orbital? 2p orbital here n is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1 since it's a hydrogen atom, z is equal to 1. So ionization energy of 2p is equal to this one is equal to minus E2. So this one is equal to minus 1 square by here n is equal to 2, it's a 2 square into 13.6. This is the energy. You have to take minus. Minus E2. E2 is equal to minus 1, one square by 2 square into 13.6. So, ionization energy of 2P is equal to minus of 4 E2. So, finally, you will get 13.6 by 4. So, this value is 3.4. So, this is the correct answer. A metal surface is irradiated with the light of frequency 2.0 into 10 to the power of 15 hedges. The work function of the metal is 6 electron volt. The potential required to stop the fast electron ejected from the surface is close to. Here we have to find out uh, the kinetic energy of the electron which is ejected. So, from uh, photoelectric effect, uh, the energy of radiation H nu is equal to work function plus kinetic energy of the ejected electron. So here we have to find out the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is equal to H nu minus H nu naught. And the H nu naught here the work function is in electron volt. Here the light frequency is given. In order to convert this one into electron volt, you have to divide with the charge of electron. So H nu naught by electron. Here H nu naught by electron is given. This is the 6 electron volt. We have to calculate H nu by charge of the electron. So here H is 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34. 626 into 10 to the power of minus 34. Into 2 into 10 to the power of 15 divided by charge of the electron 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. When you simplify the H nu by E value will be equal to 8 point, around 8.28 electron volt. Then what is the kinetic energy of the electron which is ejected? The kinetic energy will be 8.28. Here the value is given 6 electron volt. So finally, you will get 2.28 electron volt. Okay, this much uh, potential we have to apply in order to stop the electron which is ejected from the metal surface. The number of ways in which two electrons can be placed in the three p orbitals, each electron having two possible spins, such that two electrons satisfy. Pauli's exclusion principle. According to Pauli's ex exclusion principle, one orbital can occupy two electrons. The maximum number of electrons in a particular orbital is two electrons. And the two electrons should be paired. Maximum number is two. The two electrons should be paired. This is the outcome of Pauli's exclusion principle. Suppose if you take two electrons in P orbital, how many ways you can arrange? Okay, this is the p orbital. Let's take the two electrons can be arranged in the same orbital. And also we can arrange the, the two electrons in two different orbitals. Here, how many ways you can fill? Here, the, the two can be in first orbital, or the two can be 
in second orbital or the two can be in third orbital. Here also, uh, there may be 1, 2 or 1, 3 or 2, 3. 2, 3 also possible. Here, this electron has, it, it has two possibilities. It, it can be up or it can be down, plus up or minus up. This electron also plus up or minus up. So here, how many arrangements are possible? Three arrangements are possible. Again, in this, uh, if you take any single arrangement, there are two possibilities. In this R, first one is uh, downside and the second one is upside. So two arrangements are possible. So again, you have to multiply with it 3 into 2. So it will be equal to 6. Suppose if you take this one, 3 possible, and each electron, there are two possibilities. This one can be arranged in two ways. So into two, and this one can also be arranged into two ways. So this one also two. So you will get three into two into two. It will be twelve. So finally, the total arrangements will be six plus twelve. There are eighteen arrangements are possible. When a metal is irradiated with a light of frequency two into ten to the power of fifteen Hz, the maximum kinetic energy of the ejected electron is found to be. 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. The threshold frequency of the metal is close to. Here we have to find out threshold frequency. From uh, photoelectric effect, energy of uh, radiation, irradiated light, H nu is equal to a function H nu naught plus kinetic energy. Here the maximum kinetic energy is given. And you have to find out threshold frequency. H nu naught is equal to H nu minus kinetic energy. And uh, we have to find out uh, a nu naught value. Okay, we have to find out nu naught value. Here, nu naught is equal to H nu minus kinetic energy by H. Okay, this is the formula. First, you find out H nu. What is the H nu? H nu is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 15. This is the nu value and the H value is 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34. So you will get that many joules. Here you have, when you multiply with this one, you will get around 6.6, .6, around 13.2 around 13.2 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules, you will get. And uh, here this value is given, kinetic energy is given, kinetic energy is equal to 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. When you subtract it, uh, you will get around 13 point, uh, this one around 13.3 like that, 13.3 and this one is 6.63 you will get 7 and this one is 6 and this one is 6. Around you will get 6.67 like that. So this value will be 6.67 into 10 to the power of minus 19 divided by 6.626 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34. So nearly this one will be equal to 1 and uh, finally you will get to 1.0 into 10 to the power of 15. This is the correct answer. The longest wavelength in angstroms in the Lyman series of hydrogen atom spectrum is. For Lyman series, for Lyman series, n1 is equal to 1. For longest wavelength means the least energy, smallest energy, n2 is equal to 2. 2 to 1 transition inverse, least energy, smallest energy, and the longest wavelength. We know the Rydberg's equation nu bar is equal to r into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. Nu is 1 by lambda, 1 by lambda is equal to this one, is equal to this one. Then uh, lambda is equal to 1 by r. And 
n1 square into n2 square divided by n2 square minus n1 square. Here, 1 by r value is equal to, if you, if you write in uh, angstroms, it is equal to 912 angstroms and n1 square, 1 square and 2 square divided by n2 square, 4 square, 2 square minus 1 square. So, you will get 912 into 4 by 3. When you simplify, you will get around 1 to 1 5 angstroms. So, this is the correct option. The deep load wavelength for a cricket ball of weight 0.14 kg traveling at 40 meter per second is close to. Okay, the deep load equation lambda is equal to h by mp. Okay, here h is 6.626 into 10 to the power of minus 34 kg meter inverse second kg meter square second inverse. Here the m should be in cases. This one is uh, 0 0.14, you can write 14 into 10 to the power minus 2 cases and um, V should be in uh, meter second inverse, so 40 meter second inverse. When you simplify, you will get uh, 1.20 into 10 to the power minus 34. Okay, this is the correct option.